So we in Internal Affairs, a version of Global Operation Defense, understand that you have been sexually assaulting, physically abusing, and basically monitoring a man's life that you have no right under any law of the United States Constitution or the International Declaration of Human Rights, a world treaty, to do. My understanding is that you have abused your own life by doing this. What you failed to recognize is that God is not in you and God is not in this. America stands on the person's right to build their religion and build their faith in any way they choose. We also have the right in America to practice our faith and to demonstrate our faith in any way. You cannot allow the Muslims to walk around this community with their fucking turbans on their head if you're going to go up to a man who is clearly presenting as a man, clearly obviously a man in every way, visibly to the entire fucking public world and cut his beard off because you don't like his pagan way. You lied to yourself. Paganism is a religion and that beard was grown for religion. That beard is also a proper secondary sex characteristic which means you created a sexual assault. You committed a battery of what you're doing here. The lie in that little girl is that you're allowing her to be queer and fuck around on a man's face. And at this time, you've incited such rage in that man that he will raise an army to take every fucking one of you out by talking to the politicians of the day. He already is a consultant to the fucking White House, but you don't need to know that and you don't deserve to know that. Just because he's homeless doesn't mean he doesn't know people. And just because he's homeless doesn't mean that those people don't know who he is today. And if Biden did this to you, if Biden told you to do this, if Biden's abilities to lie in front of public and piss around on people and behind them did this to you, then you failed yourself in every way.